Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have another llama journal to show you. My previous video I showed you two new llama journals that were not any kind of theme besides being llama, theme, llama themed. They were kind of jewel tones and can be used for any kind of season or whatever. This one is a Christmas llama journal and it is made using a vintage Reader's Digest. This front here, that is the actual Reader's Digest book, so I thought that was really cool. It is a navy or like a royal blue and white pattern. I used a llama scrapbook paper pad that was from Michael's last year. I can't remember what the name of it was. But I used the same vintage green fabric and kind of played off the, instead of bringing out the coral in here, I brought out more of the red. So I used some vintage red velvet and lace trim on the front and some mini pom-pom trim going across the bottom. And then I made this really fun tassel with blues and greens and reds and some of the fabric as well. And then the tie is the fabric tie, like the other one. So we'll go ahead and open it up here. This is fun. I have it full of tags and things, and there will also be an extra small ephemera pack that will go with it. But I made some tags with the die cuts and cut aparts, and everything is sewn throughout. It has lots of pockets and belly bands and tuck spots. Here's a journaling tag. There's vintage papers in here, a vintage uh, llama book pages are throughout, some vintage ledger paper, there's a belly band and a bookmark, some school grid paper there. This is just a little tag pocket journaling card. Here is a vintage, uh, I don't know if this was a catalog page or it was an ideals book or something like that. I thought it was funny. The tuck spot there. Here is a flip out with a pocket on the inside. I did some ribbon stitching, like little ruffles on the sides. Here's a little scrap Christmas tree tag where you could make it a little tuck on one of the pages. And I made some corners that you could make little tuck spots. You could glue those in. another llama page this is a little booklet I just sewed some paper and made a little binding on the edge there with some of the scrapbook paper and that fits inside that little pocket page I love this paper it's so cute and just has so many different patterns that all coordinate really well together here is a pocket, but then it's an envelope as well to stick some things in there. There's some dyed grid paper. Here's another Christmas, I think this was from an ideals book too, a vintage book page. Here are some flip out pages there. Another vintage Christmas page. It's like making an angel with straws. I thought that was pretty fun. There's another book page there. This is a little side pocket. I added some of this vintage trim. It's kind of like yarn, but it's a nice little edge there. Pretty fun. There's a tuck page. Here is a pocket page and it folds out and it has tucks here 
on both sides and then a pocket there, but this is also a pocket, so it just fits in there. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love it. So adorable. Here's another envelope that has some cut aparts in there. The other side of that angel page. Here's a, another vintage book page that's Christmas. It just kind of opens up. I thought that was adorable. There's a tuck spot there. This has two signatures. And there's a snowman little poem there that's cute. Here is just a little side pocket. And then here's a library pocket that I decorated and made a little tag to go in there. So that can go in a tuck spot or you can glue that onto another page. And then here's the back cover and it has a pocket and these cut aparts if I can get them out there. Just a couple little tags. And then that is what the back looks like. So just a super adorable book. I hope there is someone out there that would love this journal. Go ahead and check it out in my Etsy shop. I'll have the link down for, down for it below as well as the link to the other flip through video of my other llama journals. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and leave, follow me over on Instagram, and as well, favorite my Etsy shop so that you know when I list new items in my shop. So that it's Kim with Creative Crafticality. Goodbye. God bless.